Look how small it is next to that tiny sailboat. Goodness me. That was a surprise. So I've been living in this place now for three months. I have never seen a cruise ship like that go past here along the River Thames. Now, I don't think there's that many cruise ships that come through the centre of London on the River Thames, but that Viking ship has done that. Now, there's a lot of people out the front. I'm guessing that's where most people are, but it does seem kind of empty. Like the back of it, if you can see right there, There isn't too many people on there. And for me, they've got a tugboat at the back, a tugboat at the front. I definitely think as well that there aren't many cruise ships that come along here because some of them wouldn't be able to fit in between the gaps of the Thames barrier. So I think it's a... That also explains why it's a very rare and unique uh, experience. But I mean, that boat dwarfed all the other sailboats and the tugboats behind it. I walked outside and I was like, what the heck is going on? It's quite amazing really, I think cruise ships are fascinating, they're like, mini they're like miniature villages. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, surprise crossing today at the River Thames. One of the amazing things about our gap is that, you know, you see stuff like that. Scrapyard, airport, Thames Link, DLR, tube, everything's here man. Shipyard there, the factory, abandoned boat over there, ferry, oh, it's a crazy gap man, that was, that was crazy. Passing up the same, waking up the same All up in my head, that's just how I behave